Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, my name is James and you're watching Wonderful World. And with me today is my boa constrictor, Ray. And today is a special day because today is the first time that Ray has been my co-host. And Ray is such a sweet and good-natured snake, and I've just been coming to love him so much. Ray is just about a year old, so he's still kind of a little baby. And one reason I got a boa constrictor was because I want to have a big snake. So I'm looking forward to Ray growing and getting big. But right now, I'm just enjoying him being a little baby. But I'm sure that by the time Ray does get big, he and I will have developed quite a strong bond. So I decided to celebrate Ray's first time as my co-host with a snake feeding video. And I've done a few snake feeding videos in the past. But there was a day last week that was feeding day for all the snakes, and I got some really good footage of all of my snakes eating. So I thought it would be a good time to share that with you. Now this video is going to show all of my snakes devouring frozen thawed mice and rats. So I will give you a warning if that's something that will bother you then you might not want to watch. And on this particular feeding day, things at times got a little bit gross. And if that is you, I completely understand and I respect that. But that's just what snakes do. That's how snakes eat. That's how they've evolved and that's how they survive. So we'll start off with Ray here. And before I show you Ray being fed, I'll talk a little bit about why I feed him the way that I do. And boa constrictors are well known for having a very strong food response. And Ray is no exception. And I've done some videos in the past on how to avoid getting bitten by your snakes. And one way I do that is I'm careful at feeding time to make sure that whatever routine I have for feeding is distinctly different from whatever routine I have for picking up a snake to take it out of its cage for handling. And Ray is getting really used to my hands coming into his enclosure to take him out for handling. But one thing about Ray is that boa constrictors are semi-arboreal, and being young, even more so. So Ray, I've never seen once go into a hide. He stays out in the open all of the time, and almost always hanging out on the limbs and branches up higher in his enclosure. So the way that I decided to distinguish his feeding time from his handling time and make sure that he knows the difference between that is instead of holding his prey right in front of his face to strike at like I ordinarily would, I make sure that he knows it's coming and that he's getting excited about it. And then I lay that prey down about a foot or two away from him and let him come and get it on his own. And this has seemed to work really well. He's really been able to see the difference between feeding time and handling time. And as you're about to see, Ray strikes at his food hard. I think feeding time is going to be pretty exciting when he does get big. So here's Ray getting fed. To keep things from getting too long, I've time-lapsed some parts of each of these feedings.
So now we'll feed my corn snake pumpkin. If you follow my channel, then you've definitely seen pumpkin before. Pumpkin is almost three years old and is close to being a full grown snake, but he's definitely had some growth spurts over this last summer and has surprised me with how much he's grown. He's a healthy and beautiful snake and eats very well. And as usual, Pumpkin doesn't like to be watched while he's eating, so he drags his mouse into his hide to eat it in peace. And now we'll move on to my eastern garter snakes, Daryl and Carol. These two can sometimes fight over their food, so I have to be pretty aware of what they're doing when I feed them. But on this day, they were pretty calm about it. Daryl didn't eat as much as he usually does, and I think that's a sign that he's soon to go into shed. So today I have prepared some pinky mice as well as some tilapia fish for both the garter snakes and my king snake rex. And here's my California king snake, Rex. King snakes are also known for their strong food response, and Rex is no exception. He's always hungry and he never turns down food. Rex is about a year old and is still a fairly small snake, but he was so tiny as a hatchling and he's really grown a lot. He's still a little bit nervous with handling, but he's making progress.
And last but not least, we'll feed my ball python, Jerry. And for a ball python, Jerry is really a good eater. I won't be surprised though if he goes on a short hunger strike at some point during this coming winter because he hasn't done that for a while and winter is a time when he might. But not today. Jerry's been smelling this rat thawing in the reptile room and he's definitely ready for it. And I told you earlier that things might get a little gross, so here it comes. So all of the snakes are fed and happy, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a like. And if you'd like to follow what's going on with me and all of my animals, subscribe to the channel or ring the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos are available. I have some really cool things coming up, including an updated reptile room tour. So until the next video, I look forward to seeing you again soon.